good. Uh, coach, welcome to this press. Uh, 2 1 against Caps United. No one expected uh, that, many people, but you did uh, quite well against them. It's uh, water under the bridge. Now, uh, triangle is your next hurdle. Tell us, take us through your preparations. Uh, we've been training very well, and the boys have responded well to training. And uh, I think he, that was a confidence booster to, the, to them. And uh, in, with that in mind, we, we actually know trying to be a different proposition altogether, particularly at Kipo Stadium. It's going to be a difficult game, but we we'll, we'll go there to compete. And like I've always said, it's all about competition, and competition is healthy for everybody. And we are also eager to compete. I know they are also eager to compete. Well, and of course, uh, looking at some of your players, uh, you have uh, players that have left, and now would you say you still have a, quite a healthy uh, squad uh, to pick from, uh, looking at what we saw last weekend? We do have some players, but it's only that uh, I hadn't known some of them, especially within a short of uh, four days, within a space of four days. It was a bit tough, but of course we had a game plan and we continue to work on our game plans and uh, that's what we will thrive on at the moment. Uh, we come up with a game plan for every team and uh, having, uh, keeping in mind the principles of play. Uh, it's all about defending and attacking and uh, also paying attention to certain details of the game and that's what is key to every match. You play against a former uh, coach of the team. Um, what do you read into that? Uh, it's quite exciting because I've worked with Tulane before. He's a quite a good coach, a strategist. Uh, we'll always try and also do something that will keep him also on his toes. And of course, any injuries to the squad? Uh, no, we don't have any injuries. We have got a clean health uh, bill and uh, only that we've got one suspension. Uh, Ayanda is suspended for this game and is one of our key players, but we have other guys who can carry the day for us. Of course, having coached the first uh, week of the team and they go to victory, what are you looking uh, forward to in terms of the players' response to you and also the game plans that you have for the next few coming games? Oh, the players have been awesome. Uh, from my side, I think they have been quite positive and uh, the enthusiasm that they have shown over the week that I've worked with and even this week is quite amazing and I'm sure we can always, I, I, I take uh, trust in that they will always apply themselves well in these games that are coming. You obviously appreciate much of uh, psychology uh, from your studies and also looking at the boys, do you think uh, they've had a bit of a shake in their psychology regards the departure of the coach uh, that leads with Suese? I think the result against the Capes United speaks volumes of their response to that. And uh, uh, from judging from the way they played, I think they, it's just what under the bridge. They appreciate that coaches will come and go. And nevertheless, they have to carry on the day for themselves because they have got a career that they have to look upon to. And also they have uh, some personal goals that they have to achieve irrespective of whoever coaches them. Okay. Uh since uh, you are entered new to the team, are there any other positions that you are looking to strengthen uh, during the transfer window? Obviously, if good players are available and those that can give us uh, uh, enough depth, I think we would appreciate. But uh, specifically, I think all departments need, need strengthening. Uh, you, you do have uh, 20 games to go, counting this one uh, when we go to triangle. So during those 20 games, you have suspensions, you have injuries, uh, you have others with uh, social problems that you need to accommodate. So if ever any good player comes through, we'll be happy to have a look at them. Coach, all the best for the game in Triangle and Travel World. Thank you.